Number two, complete the changes in concentrations for each of the following reactions, and then we have this balanced equation. So we have PbOHCl solid, which will dissociate or yield into its three ions, Pb2 plus aqueous, plus an OH minus aqueous, and a Cl minus aqueous. Now basically they're saying if we label the hydroxide, the OH minus, as changing in X concentration, what would the change be for the other two ions, the Pb2 plus and the Cl minus? Well, change in concentrations, remember, always come from your balanced equation. More specifically, it comes from your coefficients, the big numbers in the front. Now, this equation is balanced. That's always the first thing that we have to worry about. And once it's balanced, you look at the big numbers in the front of your ions in this case. But for each one of them, I don't see any number. What does that mean? Yeah, I just have one of them, right? I have one Pb2+, plus, I have one OH-, minus, and I have one Cl-. minus. So all of these are in the same ratio. The number in front is the same exact number. It's all ones, which means that whatever the hydroxide is changing, which they labeled as X, that means that the same change would be for the Pb2+, plus and the Cl-. minus. So these would both have to be just x and just x. Another way to look at it is your change in concentration is always going to be your coefficient in front of the variable. In this case, they labeled it as x. But just know that if we stuck a 1 in front of all of these, right, 1x, 1x, and 1x, 1 times anything is itself. That's why we don't usually see a variable in front of just an x if there's only one of them. So x and 1x are completely the same, okay? But that's it for this one. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day. Let's keep studying hard, and I'll see you all later. Okay, bye-bye.